Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And it's going to be a cold afternoon for this game between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Volunteers of Tennessee. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. Here come the Volunteers. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Minnesota has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage. And Lee, I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. Well, you know who I'm going with. I hope you aren't sick of hearing Rocky shot. I'm taking a bow. Minnesota will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Here's the kick. Number 18 fields it at the two. For those of you tuning in, you get to see a great example of how the quarterback position is played. This guy is a very special player. And that's definitely the right term for him, special player. He has all the intangibles. I'm excited. I've really been looking forward to seeing him play. Not many quarterbacks mean as much to their team as this guy does. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 23. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Three yard gain on the play. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 26 yard line. The ball with a full house backfield. They'll try to get the first on the ground. He's on the run. Tackle. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Let me tell you something. The biggest compliment you can give a coach is that his team is playing hard. And you're right. These guys are playing real hard right now. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. some room brought down he got a really nice gain on that run i'm gonna tell you i think the defense needs to make some adjustments maybe move eight or nine guys into the box coach maybe they can slow this running game down you're right kurt heck i could run through those holes they come out in a double wing a little handoff and he's taken down they get three yards on the play Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Volunteer come out in the wishbone. They go with the toss. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A big loss after they stuffed the run. <laughs> Not much you can say there. The defense just shot in and blew up that run. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Nickel defense. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the left. Knocked out of bounds. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. First and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The intensity of this place is increasing. Go, 
Drops back to pass. Throws, and they've got the screen set up. And he drops it. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. Power eye set. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Throws off his back foot, and he can't hang on to it. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Across the middle, number 39 with the interception. He tried to force that one in there. Yep, and the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. They'll take over at the 21. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Throws this one out to the right. Complete. What a catch. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 34. They go with the run, Juku, and down he goes. Not much there, maybe a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Minnesota going with the power eye. They'll work the right side. And the big fellow with some room. And they make the stop. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. First and 10. Ball on the 49. And off to the fullback. And he's taken down. Two-yard carry by the fullback. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 47. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he puts it on the turf. And they fall on the loose ball. They turn the ball over to the defense with that fumble, and the head coach has got to be upset with his halfback after that one. Any coach would be upset after his running back fumbles. The first thing a running back learns is how to grip and secure the football. Now, hopefully he shakes it off and forgets about it. There's nothing he can do now. <laughs> They'll go to work at the 35. They'll line up in a double wing set. Hand off up the middle. And he's hit hard. A two yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 37-yard line. On the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. It's third down and two to go. Ball on their own 43. 
Tennessee lines up in the power eye set. They'll throw for the first. He'll dump this one off. Got an opening. Tackle. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And you got that one right. Anytime a young kid sees one of those big guys looking to knock his head off, his brain is telling him one thing. Just throw it. Well, he did, Lee. He did throw it, but he's got to throw it away, not to the other team. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. They'll throw on first down. Throws off his back foot. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 31. On the ground with the tailback. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. Looking. He might not be able to get the pass off. Once and all. And he makes a diving interception. What a play. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. And they've got a lot of field in front of them as they start this drive. Bring him down. They pick up a good six yards there. Second and four. Ball on the nine-yard line. Straight ahead with the fullback. And he's tackled. Well, Coach, he picked up a few yards on that one. Red. Tough running by this kid. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 15. He's into the open field. And they make the stop. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. The running back gets two on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Tennessee going with the wishbone here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he stopped behind the line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Third and, Third and eight. This is the sixth play of this drive. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. Looks. Steps up. He's going left. He's got it. Shakes off a tackle. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Straight ahead we go with a pullback. 
Tackle. A strong run by the fullback will give him a gain of nine. Second and one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The ball line up in a double wing. They'll give it off here. And they hit him in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Tennessee will line up in a jumbo set here. He's looking. Down the middle. It's tipped. And the safety got a hand on it that time. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. In and out of his hand. They took a gamble, but they lost. Well, that gamble could really end up hurting him because if the opposing offense scores, then everybody is going to be pointing the fingers at that old coach. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Minnesota going with the power eye. They go with a toss. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. Second and 13. Ball on their own 33. Tackled about four yards on that play. Gain of four on the play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 37. The volunteers bring in their dive package. Drops back to pass. He steps up looking. Once and all, going deep. Incomplete pass. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. The Golden Gopher are lining up to punt it away. He gets it away. And it's out of bounds at the 26-yard line. The offense heads out onto the field. In their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll start this drive at the 31-yard line. They'll bring him down about five yards there on the fullback carry. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Up the middle with the fullback. Tackle. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 39. The Volunteers line up in a goal line formation. They'll try to get the first through the air. He's going right. Got it to him on the run. At the 40. Inside the 30. To the 20. And they push him out. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First and ten. 
Ball on the 14-yard line. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. A loss on that one is he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. It's second down and 12 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. And the impact linebacker is turning up and out. Bubbles the ball, and he's going to lose yards on this one. The offense will keep possession after the fumble by the running back. It's a good thing they can't afford a turnover right now. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. Looks across the middle, and he's got it for the touchdown. So they call the tight end's number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. First, you know, in high school, this guy was so big, he played defensive tackle. When he's going across the middle, he never shies away from a big-time hit. No, he's more interested in delivering punishment than taking it. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Fields it in the end zone. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll get the ball here at the 30-yard line. The Golden Gophers line up in the power eye formation. And down he goes. That's a gain of eight. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two. Ball on the 38-yard line. Number 30 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Number 30 is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. Side. He's hit and got away, and they make the stop. He looks to be hurt down there. Third down and short. Ball on the 40. Number 12 is in the zone and looking to make a play. Wants to throw outside. Has it to the senior. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Pullback on the inside give. Shake and bake move. And he's tackled. A fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. It's second down and four to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. 
up the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They gave the fullback a shot at picking up yardage, but he couldn't get anything. That was a beautiful thing to see that defense crash in and bust up the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. He jukes. Brought down. They haven't been stopped on third down this whole drive. And that could be really frustrating as a defense because every time you have the chance to get off the field, you come up short and let the drive continue. First and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. They hand it off again, and he stopped behind the line. The big fella couldn't get any momentum going. It's tough to get this guy down in the backfield. He's always falling forward. But on that one, they hit him before he could get his weight going forward. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Inside give. And the big fella with some room. Tackle. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. First and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. This place is getting loud. It's getting louder down in the field. They'll throw on first down. Throws off balance. Got it to the senior. They'll bring him down. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Minnesota lines up in the power eye set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Wants to throw outside. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Rolls right. He's looking. Across the middle. Touchdown, Minnesota. Well drawn up play for the halfback, and he took it to the end zone. Sometimes a running back can slip out of the backfield unnoticed, but if he does have a guy on him, it'll probably be single coverage. Makes throwing the ball in his direction a good option. And he hits the PAT. Here's the Pontiac Drive Summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Minnesota lines up for the kickoff. Number 18 and number 25 back deep to return. Number 18 fields it in the end zone. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll take over at the 18-yard line. They go with the run, and they make the stop. They get three yards on the play. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven, ball on their own 21. Drops back to pass. Looking. He's going left. Finds a man. 
Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. It's first and 10, ball on their own 30. They're lining up in the 5-2. He drops back. Steps up, looks, wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 30. Number 10 is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Back to pass. He's looking. Breaks one, and this one's broken up. Defensive lineman did a good job getting a hand up. Yep, he broke up that play by paying attention to the quarterback, and then he timed his swap perfectly. Third and 10. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. When this quarterback's in the zone, as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. Across the middle, it's tipped. Almost picked off. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. They line up to punt this one away. Number nine punts it, and it's a good one. Number 82 takes it to 25. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's rolling left. Throws this one out to the right. Brought down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 48. And they got him for a loss. Minnesota calls a timeout. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Minnesota going with the power eye. They'll go with the fullback. He just, they'll bring him down. They'll get six yards. Minnesota takes a timeout. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. They come out in a nickel. They'll run the option. And he's going to lose yards on this one. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Good thing that wasn't a turnover. I thought he was going to pitch it there. Minnesota, ready to put this one away. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Number 20 signals for a fair catch. Number 18 fields it in the end zone. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Minnesota 9, Tennessee 7. kick following that safety. Missed tackle. Still 
dragging guys. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 47-yard line. It's getting louder down in the field. He drops back. Across the middle. That close to being intercepted. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Second and ten. Ball on the 47. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Looking. He steps up. Throws. The senior makes the catch. The wideout made a great catch for the score. Actually, I'm even more impressed with the throw. He hung in there and delivered a beautiful ball. And he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18 yard line. The defense lines up with six DB. Straight ahead with the fullback. And down he goes. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Minnesota 16, Tennessee 7. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 82 fields it at the three. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 24. Minnesota going with the wishbone here. Across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. Great looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. For two is the right call here. Uh, 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 
Drops back to pass. Looks. Throws back across field. Caught it, and the conversion is good. They're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Second down and 12. Ball on the 18. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Spins up field. Tackle. A five-yard gain. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 23. They come out of the nickel. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. And he pulls it down. And he goes over 100 on the day with that reception. If you can get open and hold on to the passes, chances are you're going to have a good game. And that's exactly what this guy has been able to do today. First and ten. Ball on the 50. Tennessee comes out in a double wing. And off to the fullback. And they got him for a loss. Good job of wrapping up the big fullback and not letting go. That can sometimes be a tough thing to do to pull down a big, strong fullback for a loss. Nice play. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Golden Gophers line up in a nickel back. Looking, he's rolling right. Throws this one out to the right. And he shoves out of bounds. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good looking play, wasn't it, coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something the defense he really like. It's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Volunteers with a full house backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Taken down. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. No gain on the play. Right. 
They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. The defense lines up with six DB. Back to pass. Looks. Wants to throw outside. His receiver has it. He made the catch, and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. He gets it up. And it splits the uprights. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 82 takes it from the six. Makes a move. Spin move. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll take over at the 24. They come out in a double wing. Tosses it short. There he goes. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42. It's a full half back field. Toss. And he's stopped behind the line. So the toss play to the tailback goes nowhere. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 40. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. They go with the toss. And he's tackled. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42. The gives to the fullback. And down he goes. They get three yards on the play. Second and seven, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Fullback handoff, brought down. They'll get six yards. Gain of six on the play. Third and one coming up on this play. This is the sixth play of this drive. They'll line up in a double wing set. Toss right side. Can he get the first? And they hit him in the backfield. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 13 gets it off. Number 39 falls for the fair catch. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 20. They come out in a double wing. Ground with a 
nail that. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback on the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. Second down and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. They'll bring him down. Well, we thought we'd only see him in short yardage situations, but apparently that's not the case today, folks. Third down and short. Ball on the 30-yard line. The ball line up in a goal line formation. Play action. He throws it. Nice pass, just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you've got to catch the easy ones. They send out the punting unit. Number nine gets it off. Number 82 takes it to 33. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll go to work at the 36-yard line. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Pullback on the inside gives for the step off. And down he goes. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Ball on the 36. Minnesota going with the wishbone here. A little juice. He's got an opening at the 40. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Minnesota. There's number two on the day. The coach loves to give the football to this running back. You know why? Because he knows how to find the end zone. And he hits the PAT. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Minnesota 31, Tennessee 10. Ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. Set up shot at the 27-yard line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. Gain of two. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 29. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Minnesota 31, Tennessee 10. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 29-yard line. He 
he's gobbled up in the backfield. Makes the stop. Loss of two on the play. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 27-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. He'll dump this one off. Incomplete pass. So they go three and out after that incompletion. The volunteer line up the punt. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 82 fields it at the 26. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Minnesota comes out in a double wing. They'll bring him down. Four-yard gain by the back. Ball carrier. Gain of four on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 40. The defense needs to be mistake-free. This quarterback is very capable of making a pay right now. Bounces off the wicker tackler. Tackle. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. They'll line up in the wishbone. They come out in the bone here. open field and he's taken down the offensive line got a really good push there allowing the back to pick up nine on the play second and one coming up here ball on the 40 yard line the gophers line up in the power eye formation which is right Tries to juke. Sheds a tackler. Brought down. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26. They come out in a double wing. They'll bring him down. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. Back to pass. He unloads it. Complete. Juke move. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. And so the defense recovers the ball after the fullback coughed it up. Well, he's really going to hear about it from his coaches. you got to protect the football. Take over at the eight yard line. And it off. And he's going to lose yards on this one. They might want to run away from that guy next time. One yard loss on the play. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the seven yard line. Tennessee lines up in the power eye set. And 
down he goes. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Oh, you really hate to see something like this happen to a guy like that. That's a tough one to handle. Number 35, now in a defensive back. Third and eight, ball on the 10. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. Incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Tennessee lining up the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 82 takes it to 43. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 48-yard line. Start the drive at the 48-yard line. First and 10. Minnesota lines up in the power eye set. Inside handoff. The fullback gains about four yards there. Second and six. Ball on the 48. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. Shake and bake move. And he's tackled. Gain of a yard by the fullback. One yard gain on the play. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 47. He drops back. He's going left. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Fourth and five. Ball on the 47-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 39 signals for a fair catch, and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet, quickly! Bring him down. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Drops back to pass. Throw short, and it falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third and eight. Ball on their own 22. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. He just had too much on that one, Coach. The quarterback put everything he had into that one. The problem, it was inaccurate. Nickel defense. He drops back. Steps up. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Caught. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Cut. 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 
Drops back to pass. Looking. Throws this one out to the right. And there's a fumble. Brought down. Wow, the receiver had a big play on his mind, and he forgot about securing the football. I always told my receivers to look the ball in, tuck it away, and then get upfield. It looks like he skipped step two. I didn't see the part where he's supposed to tuck it away. I'm sure he'll hear all about that in practice from his coaches and teammates. This group of receivers is a competitive bunch, and they don't let each other get away with mistakes like that. Lucky for him, the offense recovered at that time. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Minnesota going with the power eye. Inside give, he jukes, and he's taken down. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. Gain of four on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 46. Nickel defense. Try to power it with a pullback. And they make the stop, and not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 44. Minnesota lines up in the power eye set. the spin and down he goes number 12 on the carry gain of 16 on the play it's first and 10 ball on the 28 yard line Wrestle him down in the backfield. They gave the fullback a shot at picking up yardage, but he couldn't get anything. That was a beautiful thing to see that defense crash in and bust up the play. So it's second and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They'll line up in a double wing set. the middle. He jukes it. There he goes! And he's taken down. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. to the fullback took the defense by surprise and he rumbled all the way in. Yeah, they didn't even know he's such a big play threat. And he tacks on the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Minnesota 38, Tennessee 10.
Number 10 looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 18 fields it in the end zone. It's first and 10. Ball in their own 20. Nickel defense. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. Great coverage and it's intercepted. Oh man, did he take a hit. Thank goodness this one finally comes to an end because I'd hate to see it get any uglier. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Minnesota played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. they got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2006. And again, our final score in this one, Minnesota 38, Tennessee 10.